The job editor is where you can make modifications to individual jobs, overriding the default settings before printing them. You can open job editor by double clicking a job in the job center or right clicking on it and selecting edit from the pop-up menu. The job editor will open with the selected job made available for editing. In the job editor, on the left, you will find the property inspector. The sidebar displays navigation buttons for the file, layout, finishing, color, printer, and verify panes. Each pane is divided into panels which you can expand to show the content or collapse to hide the content by double clicking on the panel header bar or clicking on the small icon to the left of the header bar title. Each of these panels displays various job settings. These settings are the default settings that were assigned to the job when it was imported and can now be overridden in Job Editor. Some panels have a checkbox which you must select in order to make the settings available. The preview window displays your job in the work area used for job editing. The upper toolbar contains tools and settings for editing a selected job, nesting or step and repeat or tiling. The options on the toolbar will change to reflect the type of job you are editing. For example, on a tiling job, the toolbar includes overlapping and glue areas and tiling preview. While step and repeat will present you with options including positioning, alignment, rotation, and margins. On the left side of the toolbar, you will find options for saving your changes, scaling, cropping, zooming, and repositioning of the preview image. On the left-hand side of the bar at the bottom of the preview window, you will find server and job status information. In the center are controls to scroll through the pages of multi-page jobs, while on the right you will find buttons where you can set the preview image to fit the window, actual size, fit to width, fit to selection, a zoom slider with plus or minus buttons, as well as a window where you can enter your desired preview scaling amount. Scaling of the job preview has no impact on the printing of your jobs. In the upper menu you will find File, Edit, View, and Help drop-down menus. Under File, you will find options to save the changes that you have made to your job, discard the changes, process and hold the job, print the job, cancel, which will allow you to cancel the printing of the job opened in Job Editor once you have selected the print option, save as workflow, which will allow you to save the settings that you configured for this job as a new workflow, which can be assigned to future jobs, and an option to quit Job Editor. Under Edit, you will find options to be used when working with nesting jobs, options covered in the e-learning course, Fiery XF 7.0, Job 102, Layout Options. There is also an option to change the default measurement units. Under View, you have additional controls for controlling the scaling of your preview image, while at the bottom of the menu are options for turning on and off various visual aids such as rulers and guides. If you have rulers enabled, you can left click on a ruler and drag guides onto your document. Under the Snap To menu option, you can select which visual aid you can automatically snap images to when working with nesting jobs, such as the guides which I just added. Right clicking on a ruler, will allow you to switch the measurement unit for this job from the default units set up in your system preferences. This is a temporary change only. Job Editor will switch back to your default measurement system 
once you close and reopen it. Finally, under the Help menu, you will find a link to the EFI website, email and phone information for obtaining technical support, and a link to the online help documentation. This completes this module.